guys, this is Wayne Miller with Fit and Fearless Krav Maga. Uh, real quick, about Krav Maga, it stands for Contact Combat, and it's Hebrew. In Israel, when you turn 18, you're required to serve your military, serve your country for several years. They needed a system that was based on instinctive movements that could take people with little or no experience as fighters and build them as fighters as quickly as possible without taking years and years of training uh, to get good at it. So one of the great things about Krav Maga is... You get good at it in a short amount of time. And since everything is based on instinctive movements, those defense movements and those techniques that you learn in class can be called upon uh, very quickly under times of fatigue, stress, anxiety, uh, exhaustion. Um, it's just instinctive. So what we're going to do now is we're going to move on and we're going to learn some basic um, combatives. And, but first, everything starts with our fighting stance, we have one fighting stance. One thing that's great about Krav Maga is we have one move that addresses lots of different uh, types of uh, attacks and scenarios. Hey guys, this is Wayne again with Fit and Fearless uh, Krav Maga. We're going to go over some basic fighting stance movements uh, as well as a neutral stance. So a neutral stance is just like this. It's pretty much a relaxed setting uh, with your feet slightly wider than the shoulder width apart and your hands are nice and relaxed at your sides. In Krav Maga, we train from a position of disadvantage uh, because in the street, you're not walking around with your hands up. So whenever we do our self-defense techniques and uh, a lot of our combatives, it's done from the stance right here. To get into our fighting stance, all you're going to do is take a small step forward with your left foot. You're going to pick up your back heel. Your legs are slightly bent with a nice spring to it. Your hands come up, and then you're going to bring your elbows in nice and tight against your ribs. Shoulders are relaxed. Your chin is down. Your hands are up. It's almost as if you're holding a basketball. Like I said, hands six to eight inches in front of your face to protect your face. Arms are protecting your body. When I advance forward, I'm driving off the ball of my back foot. I'm exploding forward. I'm bursting forward. And I'm opening with my lead leg first. And then my right leg follows. Looks like this. When I go back, it's the exact same principle. I'm driving off the ball of my lead leg. I'm opening with my back leg. And it's that exact same open close motion. For lateral movement, if I go to my right, same thing. Open close. If I go to my left, open close. I'm always driving off the ball of the rear foot opening with the lead foot or the direction that I'm going to. Uh, that concludes our fighting stance of movement. Uh, quick little note, it might not be the most exciting thing in the world, but everything that we do in Krav Maga starts from the ground up. So, uh, with that said, uh, we're going to move on to some punches, some kicks. Uh, so definitely stay tuned. Uh, remember, fitfearless.com. Uh, give us a thumbs up, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.